Hi, my name is Brianna, and welcome to my reaction commentary channel. Today we're going to be reacting to season 1, episode 3 of Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches on AMC. Now, after the end of episode 2, I've got one question. What happened to Deirdre? That's my girl. I was rooting for her, and I really need this not to be her demise. But before we get into it, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications, follow me on all my social media. That way we can skip the chit chat and get straight to the good part. Dang, girl, what happened? How did you get eviscerated? What happened? <laughs> Sorry, Boar. Scared of your belly. I know boars are scary. I didn't know boars did all that. Day to day. With, with us. For with. The work of a midwife is more than just care, sister. Dad did your work too. I mean, nothing is sterilized. She does not have long. But I'm not going to have. Not to you. I'm going to the earth, to my mother, and her mother before. What's the fear in that? Okay, okay. You know what, Carlotta? I blame you. I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure it's your fault. So you saw that her neck was mostly severed, <laughs> then you walked toward her into the elevator? I mean, I was trying to help. she's a doctor, but also this is the second person she was in the room when they died in like two weeks. Rowan Fielding, I'm your great aunt, Carlotta Mayfair. It's horrible to meet you. I don't want to know how you're doing. Mr. Mayfair is on his way. He'd like to speak with you. Tell him she's with me. He would eat you alive. <laughs> Come with me. We'll go to the house. You'll be safer there. I have to go. Go go with Cyprian. No one wants to talk to you, ma'am. This is your place? Yeah. I would say make yourself comfortable, but you're covered in blood. You're a biohazard, so please don't touch anything. I know it must be such a difficult so time. So help me understand this. I was gathering information about you. The town of Mask exists to document and investigate the... Uh, Unexplained. We've been around since the Middle Ages. I mean, not me. Unexplained? Seriously? Are you kidding me? Girl, no. You've been unexplainably killing birds. The Mayfair house on First Street. Your aunt lives there. Who is that? <laughs> Latcher, he always in the background. A being. He used to visit Deidre. Ellie was afraid that he might start to visit you. He's connected with your family. They call him Lasher. Oh my god. I can't believe this shit. This is crazy. This is the first real reaction that she's had <laughs> since the show started. I need to go and deal with something real quick. Excuse me. Um, Make yourself at home. Please. Whatever you need. Before you say anything, I'm not gonna apologize. I did what I thought I had to do. She's here, she's safe. I'm just here to help. I've got the team with me to apply protections to your place. So the Telemasca has it like that? How big is the Telemasca? I failed her. I failed our family. You did, you definitely did. Rattling the trees again, looking for his whore. <laughs> but you're kind of funny sometimes. What's she like, Deirdre's daughter? I... I think she's made of sterner stuff than her mother. But she needs our protection. I've seen how you protect people. She'd come to us if we held her mother's wake here at the house. How does she come to us then, Courtland? No, I've seen what y'all have done. Let's see what Uncle Cortland got going on. Where's the necklace? I took it off Deidre. I mean, Cortland might be just as evil as they are, but he has a better sense of fashion. The only thing that has ever worked. Binding him to someone.
Okay, Cyprian, how much is the telemasca paying? What's with all the gloves? What, am I can accessorize? It's more like one accessory repeated several times. No, it's, um, my gift. When I touch something with my hands, I see its past, some moment connected to the object. I can't turn it off. But at the beach, you had the gloves on. It didn't seem to keep anything out then. You're an exception. Your gift is the strongest thing I've ever felt. Do all the Mayfairs have gifts? Well, from what I've read, some do, some don't. Your mother did. But not Carlotta. No. Is that why Carlotta is so salty all the time? At the hotel, the bellboy said, Mr. Mayfair. That's Cortland, your great uncle. As far as I know, he doesn't either. I mean, he has a lot of the normal kind of power. He owns that hotel through the Mayfair Trust. So, you grew up nearby? Did you know my mom? Is that why she had your number? No, I first spoke to her when she called about what happened with your boss. She's out here catching bodies. I know how you're feeling. Alone, ashamed, afraid of yourself. You have no idea how I'm feeling. It sounds like he kind of does, girl. You don't have to hide that from me. You have 40 pairs of gloves. You're the one who can't handle your shit. You don't know anything about- Um, ma'am, I do know he's the only one telling you the truth, and I do know that you need to check your attitude because you are staying in his house. But then again, she could just give him another aneurysm, and that'd be the end of him. I mean, at least he's emotionally affected by it. And at least Cortland liked Deirdre. Carlotta sure didn't. Oh. Oh. Lasher, you were so petty. Doing the most. But y'all better go get that necklace. You're heartbroken, I know. I loved you too. Now your time has come. The 13th witch. She's different from the others. Close to me somehow. So is he just a ghost? A ghost that can throw rocks? I'm still very confused. And is Cortland on Lasher's side? Who the hell are you? I'm a friend of Cyprian's. Who the hell are you? I'm Odette. Sip's sister? I'm just here to grab something. Are you seeing my brother? No. When do you do? A couple of weeks. I'm a surrogate. Yeah, this little girl is going to a couple of nice daddies uptown. You feel connected to her? Not really. I bet she does, though. I'm sorry? I bet she feels connected to you. Rowan, girl, you were projecting. Girl, did you do this? Again with the whispering. It could be ours. That's its work. Which way is First Street? Like a 10 minute walk? That way. Now, who set Cyprian's apartment on fire? Was that Lasher or Cortland? Do you remember when she was a little girl, how you'd sing her to sleep? Yes, ma'am. She wouldn't have anyone but you. Ma'am, please stop drinking from this tiny glass. I do not trust this woman. She left you this. She did not. Put it on. And please don't. Oh, no. I couldn't. No. She was so attached to it. That must be why she left it to you. Yeah, but even then, people don't insist that you just put it on right then and there. No. Nope. Girl, do you not understand how literal chains and shackles work? This is not it. Now come. I need your help with something. <sighs> what do you need in the basement? Nothing, girl. Oh, Delphine. I left you in charge of her. Ugh. May God forgive me. Forgive her? Carla, I want Carlotta. I want her to no longer be around. <laughs> From now on, I don't care. If it's a battle between Carlotta and Cortland, I'm on Cortland's side. I don't care what he does. <laughs> Girl, you are still just wandering. <laughs> Second line. Did you know him? I'm crying for somebody else tonight. I'm sorry. I lost someone too. This is already a strange conversation. Stop talking to strangers. This will help. 
Oh no, I'm okay. Thank you. One for my friend, yeah. No, please do not accept drinks from strangers or people that you've known for 42 years. Girl, you could have went to a local McDonald's. Damn. Evening. Bonsoir. Here's another thing. I'm gonna need him to start touching surfaces with the back of his hand because otherwise you're just leaving fingerprints everywhere and that also cannot work out in your long-term benefit. Lasher, sir. Girl, what did they roofie you with? Also, Lasher, that mask is not hiding who you are. I know that haircut anywhere. What's your name? The worst. Adonis. Sorry, I thought you asked where I was from. I was just about to. You read my mind. I just think it's me personally. I am too paranoid and too cautious. So Lasher could not tempt me anywhere. Yeah. Damn. R.I.P. to the homie. Dear Dre, you deserved much better, ma'am. Who did it? Yeah, my girl lived a very hard, difficult life. It was some real BS all the way through the thing. Also, why did Lasher do that if that's the house she was going to anyways? She was already headed there. Or is this dreamland? You're dead. Oh, very dead. Mm -hmm. My dad. Girl, at the rate you're going, you're not long for this world. Very much alive. You're perfect, my little girl. Deirdre, please warn her about a whole bunch of things that she might face in the future. They told me you were dead. I would never, never give you up. You can have this all the time. If you open your mind, you can be transformed. Into what? I don't want to be transformed. I just want to be me. But you aren't that yet. Not without us. Us? Lasher, are you just out here playing games with this poor girl's heart and mind? This is where we are connected. This is where we find each other. Through him. Nope, Rowan, go. Go, 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 go. Cause Deirdre was never that creepy. Nah, cause Deirdre's the only normal one in the family. Get out, get out. Let's run. Did you get the drawing I said? Yeah, that's him. Uh huh, saw it. You stopped the elevator and got in with her. And then? Who? That's all I saw. He who? That's great. That's funny. I'll send it around. We'll get him. Yes, we will. You heard the rumors about the family. Can you see for yourself? I don't know what you're talking about. She's a witch. You just touched the body of a real goddamn witch. A witch? Come on. You're not wrong, sir. Don't give up your search. It might lead to your downfall, but at least you're seeking the truth. Oh yeah, sorry Cyprian, they burned your house down. It was a whole thing. So Lasher can throw rocks, he can burn down people's apartments, he can shapeshift, he can teleport, and he can roofie. He doesn't like her wearing it. If it traps him down there with her, it'll be worth it. God dang! Ma'am, you really just got the short end of the stick throughout the entire episode. I'm so sorry. I have no doubt that all three of them were him. He can take different forms. First, I found out that someone doesn't want me to find anything out. The elevator's been wiped in memories. I touched the walls and I got nothing. It's never happened before. I saw your birth. She didn't give you away. You were taken from her. I 
Yeah, she said that too, but it was just him telling me whatever I wanted to hear. It was all lies. Not that part. I didn't even feel it starting. I was just in it. Like, I just felt like I was swept away. And I don't know how to stop it. Oh, they're definitely becoming a thing. I haven't seen a link up like this since Willow and Tara in season four. And that concludes episode three. And honestly, episode three has been the best episode so far this season. I'm still sad about the death of Deirdre. I think that's messed up. My girl deserved better. Lasher never liked him. He can go. <laughs> when it comes between Cortland and Carlotta, right now, I'm forever going to be on Cortland's side. Carlotta has done nothing to redeem herself in these first three episodes. She's the literal word. I mean, at least Deirdre trusted Lasher, which is probably to her own detriment. At least he was nice to her and had real conversations with her. Corlotta just kept her doped up for years and told her that her baby died. It seemed kind of like Cortland and Lasher were working towards the same end, but clearly they don't get along. And so far I have two characters that I actually like, and that's Deirdre and that's Cyprian. And mostly because those are the two characters that are one, seeking the truth, and two, like actually want to communicate about the truth to other people. And I really appreciate that Cyprian was out there making moves this episode. Rowan spent most of this episode completely lost and in a daze, walking the streets of New Orleans, looking at Lasher's ghost. <laughs> but I am glad that she had enough common sense to realize that the person she was talking to in this dream world was not the real Deirdre, was not her real mother. But apparently Lasher out here playing games and tricks. Now that we're picking up speed, I'm super excited to see what's next. But on your way out, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications. Follow me on all my social media. That way I can see you next time with another one. Bye y'all.